uh, <clears throat> as long as I have this set up, I'm going to test a few extra things. Um, just for the heck of it. Alright. Here's, uh, cars. I find these all the time. Eight inches. Zippo lighter. More like eight and a quarter. Find a lot of these. Good seven on that. Um, here's another gold ring. That's my, uh, I didn't find that, but that's my uh, wedding ring. Seven and a half. Big old silver ring I just found. Biggest one I've ever found. Good seven on that. Here's a tiny junk ring. And the last thing I ever found by using this uh, barreled compadre. Tiny. Oh, five and a half. Not bad on that small thing. Here is a uh, Mickey Mouse watch. This is about five inches deep out in the field out there. Not bad. Love these. I find lots of knives. I like that one. Nine inches. Smaller one. It's a seven and a half. Another one. About eight on that. Sideways, a lot less. Eight. Big throwing knife. Nine. Uh, another real old knife. Eight. Chunk. It's uh, Sarah Coventry. Pretty cool, actually. Junk jewelry, but good one. Whoa. Ten inches. <laughs> That's a surprise. Let's see. This is cool. This is a uh, challenge coin, I think. Never found any information about it. Seven. Dog tag. Seven of that. Junk ring. I thought it was gold at first. Wasn't. Good seven inches. It's, remember, this is indoors. My Wi-Fi is turned off, but five other neighbors are not. Another car. Eight inches on that. Uh, oh, Sam's Town one dollar coin that they used to throw in the slots. Seven three quarter inches. All right, as long as we're doing this, let's try some coins. It's an Indian head. Five inches. 
Silver War Nickel. P. Five and a half inches. Sixty-four. Silver. Five, five and a half. Here's a sixty-eight. Forty percenter. Six. Another sixty-four. Silver. Here's, I uh, didn't dig this, but it's an 1888 or 86 dollar I've uh, been carrying around with me forever. Six on that. A 50 cent euro coin from, where is this from? I think it's Spain, I'm not sure. Five and three quarters. This is a uh, an inauguration coin. It was not the official one, which is way larger, but it was uh, also made by the Mint. Harry Truman. Cool find. Six inches on that. And let's see here. Uh, I hunt parks, so I tend to find these. Six. Six, six and a half or so. Um, just some kind of a cheap religious metal. Six on that. Uh, here's a uh, presidential dollar. Five, five and a quarter on that. Uh, cheap jewelry. It was a heart attack when I found it. I wish it was real. It sure looked real. It wasn't real. Sideways, not much. Three. More like seven. Uh, what else? A little bangle. Whoa. Nine inches. <laughs> Another one. This one looks like a nice one. It might be brass. I don't know. Nine and a half inches. Let's see. What else? Some kind of a Sports medallion. I have no idea where this is. Eight inches on that. Bit lighter, but it has a nice cover on it. Solid at eight. And let's see here. Part of a lighter. I don't know if it's a Zippo. It might be. It's really old. Seven. Come across locks. Solid at seven. This is a weebly wobbly. Bet you never find one of those. I oh, have. Yeah. It was in the ground this way. I thought it was a nut. <laughs> I dug it up. It was a surprise. It's got some metal in it. Four. 
Jump Kids bracelet. Four. Um, fishing weights, uh, lures. They hunt near lakes a lot. Five, six on that. Here is a uh, Louisiana bottle opener. Seven on that. And I don't know. Some kind of a cool, weird pendant. I don't know what this is. Six on that. See if I can find something else. Oh, yeah. This another thing from Disney. This is actually worth some money. People collect these. Real solid at seven. Even sideways at five. Not bad. And let's try a no cash value token. Eagle. Six on that. And uh, let's try a Chuck E. Cheese for millions of these. Five and a half on that. Another no cash value, big one. This is from uh, Iron Mike Pitching. At least six on that. And... Okay, here's a ID bracelet, heartbreaker. Thought it was real. It's not real. Seven. Real solid at seven. Love that. Think I don't find these? Here's another one. Kent lost this one. That's at five. And another heartbreaker. Wish it was gold. Not. Solid at six. And I don't know, let's see. One more footprints in the sand thing. It's got all the words on there. I can't read it. Seven. Try one more cool thing here. Ah, this is an impressionist painting in copper. I believe it was sold by the post office. Actually, won me a, an award for the most unusual at one of my club meetings. Six, seven, close to eight. This thing is impressive. Like I said, it's not turned up internally, which is something I would do. And I'm inside the house. And I know it'll go further outside. For you relic hunters, this thing is great on iron. I have found some deep iron out there, stuff I wouldn't even dig. Here's a Civil War bullet I did find, though. Six. Real solid at six. And, uh, let's see here. Let's do one more thing. Two more things. I have no idea what that is, but it's 
cool, some kind of a pendant snake. Solid at six. You like to play Monopoly? Here's a car. Very solid at five. And, uh, oh, one more thing. For you, uh, head stamp hunters. Five. Solid at five. And, uh, smaller bullet hunters. Four on that. So that'll give you an idea on uh, some of the odd and end uh, things you might come across out there and what it will find. I'm still very impressed with the depth on this inside the house. Eight inches on that. So I recommend it. See ya.